what feels worse the feeling that you get when you're like I've totally left something behind I wonder what it's gonna be or actually realizing that it was something super stupid like underwear or a phone charger if that's you though all you have to do is write down a checklist and if you feel like you're so forgetful that you're gonna forget to write something important on your checklist then just go on Pinterest and print one out they're really helpful as well you can even find some that are specific to like camping or road trips so that is definitely super helpful if you're going on vacation and you need to pack specific things but other than that my number one tip is definitely Definitely to have some form of checklist just to make sure that you don't forget anything when you're packing. I'm gonna tell you right now, cause she's the one I'm thinking so to kick it off, I'm just gonna start off and tell you guys what I pack in my suitcase with me for vacation. So firstly, I'll always take some sort of like hot tool, like a curler because my hair is crazy. And then I also take at least two pairs of denim shorts just because they go with like every single outfit. And then of course, some undies and socks like enough to last me at least two times the length of my vacation, just in case. You guys are legitimately the bomb, so you probably already know this hack, but instead of folding up your clothes, you should try it rolling them because you save so much more space that way, especially like on the way back when you've done a little bit of shopping. So try rolling up your clothes instead. And other things that I take are white t-shirts or basic t-shirts just because they go with every single outfit ever. And then I also take something a little more fancier, like a dress or a romper in case I end up going out to dinner. And then I'll take a jumper and a pair of denim jeans because you never know if it's gonna get super cold. And if you don't take these, it definitely will get cold. Moving on, I always take some workout clothing even if I'm not working out because it's super comfortable and then of course I'm gonna take pajamas because sleep is still life on vacation as well and the last bits of clothing that I pack is normally like cuter clothing so like two cute tops and then like two cute shorts or skirts as well and then of course I take my makeup bag I know some people don't wear makeup on vacation but I normally wear some light makeup on vacation and then next up I take my toiletries but I normally use some travel containers just because I hate taking full bottles of stuff like full bottles of shampoo or like a full bottle of body lotion so I normally just pour them out into like these little travel size containers and seeing as I am super prone to like disaster if like my toiletries were to explode in my bag because that happens to me seriously every single time I go on an airplane they just leak throughout my whole suitcase if they were to go everywhere it wouldn't be so bad if they were in these little travel containers because it wouldn't be like a full bottle of shampoo or like a full bottle of conditioner so that way it probably would just go on like two pieces of clothing as opposed to my entire suitcase like normal but then lastly I always take a good book as well as the one that I pack in my carry-on and I also take a ton of swimwear because I hate waiting for my swimwear to dry. So won't you come on out with me? Forever young and I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but I always lose my 
my jewelry in a hotel room or like in my suitcase. So if you're like that too, all you have to do is pack it into a pill container because they're like perfectly sized for rings and earrings and that way you're not gonna lose them on your next vacation. It's like so bad when you've got really expensive makeup or just makeup in general that gets cracked because luggage is thrown around on the airplane. So to prevent that from happening, all you have to do is take some cotton rounds or some cotton buds and just sit them on the top of your powdered compacts and that'll just prevent all of your makeup from breaking if it's thrown around on the airplane, which is super awesome. Let's be real, we all smell, so to prevent the rest of your suitcase from smelling, all you've got to do is pack a dry sheet in your suitcase and that way the rest of your luggage in your suitcase isn't going to start to smell as well. Not gonna lie, I actually feel like my backpack that I take on the plane with me is way more important than my suitcase because if I forget something in there, it's like so much because you can't just like get up and go to the store. But anyway, the number one thing that I take in my backpack, in my carry-on, is some snacks, duh. And then moving on, I take my wallet because you never know if you're gonna need some money or some ID. Let me know down in the comments if you do this as well, but I always take a pair of warm socks because my feet get so cold on the airplane. And then if I'm going overseas or somewhere international, I'll definitely take my passport. I'll Obviously. And then next up, I always take hand sanitizer because I am a germaphobe and I feel like the airplane is so dirty. So I always take hand sanitizer. I'm going to take a good book as well. I normally have a book in the plane and a book in my suitcase. And I also take some cleansing wipes in case I've got like oily skin or I still have makeup on. Sunglasses for me are a life essential, not just an airplane essential. So I always take a pair of sunglasses and gum because I feel like if I don't have gum, then I'm definitely going to end up with really bad breath. So I always take gum just in case. And of course, headphones are an all-time airplane essential because if you don't have them, there will definitely be a crying baby in front of you. <laughs> and of course, I take a chapstick because my lips get so dry on the plane. And the same with my skin. I always have really oily skin in real life, but the second I'm on an airplane, my skin feels so dry. And then lastly, I always put a camera in my carry-on bag because I always take so many photos on vacation. So that is a number one essential for me. travel day OOTD because I don't know I really like filming OOTDs this was super fun because I filmed it in the airport and people were like what is she doing so my very favorite thing that I'm wearing is my backpack that you guys have already seen but this one is from Colette I'm so obsessed with everything that Colette has in store but this backpack is like my all-time favorite it's a perfect size and then on my feet I've got these really cool little sneaker shoes that I got off ASOS I think they're like $30 I'll leave them in the links down below I'll leave all the stuff in the links down below and then I've also got this hat on which was only like $12 from Kmart I like screamed a little when I saw it in store because I was like oh my gosh this is exactly what I want in a hat and more and then next up I've got these awesome jeans that are my all-time faves from ASOS on they've just got little rips in the knees and I paired it with a white t-shirt so that is it for this video hopefully you guys liked it and you should let me know down in the comments below what's like one of your travel essentials like something that you cannot leave home without whether it's like your phone or your camera or your pet dog I don't know or like your pillow I know that there's a lot of people that travel with their pillows because they're like obsessed with their pillow. I'm not throwing shade at Kane's parents, but I know that they take their pillows everywhere. <laughs> it's so random. I know they watch my videos too, so hey. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys like this video and you should also leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite drink is. I'm super keen to get taste testing. Ooh. <laughs> and while you're down in the comments, you should also let me know what your favorite drink is because I am super keen to get taste testing. So I'd love to know. I'd love to just feel like a general taste testing like tasting international food because I love food food is life but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did like it make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe as well so you can see new videos every single week also if you're not following me on Instagram make sure to follow me on Instagram my handle is at Sarah this is what it looks like and I'll see you guys in my next video have a good day bye